I want to turn to the financials though. Goldman said to be exploring a possible sale of its personal financial management business. This according to reportings this morning from the Financial Times. The bank saying, quote, we expect to find an outcome that benefits both our clients and our advisors. Shanali Basak has more. Hey, Shanali. John, it's the undoing of a big consumer strategy you're seeing over at Goldman Sachs. This is a business that was United Capital, a business Goldman Sachs acquired in 2019 for about $750 million. Now, remember, at that time, it had about $20 $25 billion worth of assets. Now it has about $29 billion, so not a lot of growth there. The strategy here was to help ACO. This is the business that it serves corporate executives and their deputies. It was to get them closer not only to the corporate side, but to expand their wealth business more. But Goldman Sachs has had problems going downstream. We know that they've also been in talks to sell Green Sky, which they bought for even more, for $2.2 billion back in 2021. In the most recent quarter, they took about a $500 million or so right down. Sorry, goodwill impairment charge tied to that business. The overarching question with United Capital would be, are there more costs associated with unloading that business as they try to bite the bullet on the consumer and look forward? Is it a good thing we're talking about strategy this morning and not personality uh, Shanali, it, after last weekend? Sure is. Also in the Financial Times over the weekend is the story about Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon retaining the board's backing in the middle of all these changes and in the middle of morale changes over at Goldman Sachs. They see it as external noise. Now, now the next quarter or so will be the most interesting to is watch. Is that another way of just saying we blame the media? Nothing's to see here. There's always a moment to blame Something us, like isn't that. there, sure, John? Sure, <laughs> Always the way. Shanali, thank you. Just the reporting came from inside the bank. The sources were inside the bank anyway. Shanali, we do that another time.